Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a Django project on the portfolio subject. So let's make a project uh, which focuses basically on building a portfolio website. Let's have a look at the requirements first. First we require a, obviously a text editor, a coding platform where you're going to write your code. Here I have used VS code but again depends on you which coding platform you want to use. Second, we require an operating system. You may be on Linux, you may be on Unix, you may be on iOS. I have used your Windows 10. Then this is a very important part. Let's have a look at the tools and tech used. On the client side, we have used HTML, CSS and Bootstrap. And on the server side, we have used Python and Django. So now let's move to the code and let's have a look. How does the code looks like? This I have made it for you. Now we'll go and we'll look at each and every simple component of the code, component of the project, and we'll uh, see what does it have in hold for us. So first file is asgi.python. So what is this? It's basically just let's do this. These are the comments. Or let it be, no problem. So first we have imported the OS, then from django.code.asgi, we have imp uh, imported the get asgi application, then we have set the environment. So the environment is set as Django settings module, Django portfolio. Then application is get asgi application. Now let's move to settings.python. In the settings.python, this is basically See, these are the file name as you can see. So for more information on this particular file, you can click on this link and you'll get to know. Press control click, right? Then from path library, import path, then import OS. Then the base directory is built. So we are going to resolve the parent directories. Then this is a secret key. Then we are going to have a security warning. So this is a warning that you should not run with debug turned on in production. Then we have the debug is equal to true. Then the allowed host is marked as asterisk. Then let's have a look at the installed apps. These are the installed apps. These are the middleware. And this is the URL configuration. These are the certain templates which we are going to use. Then the WSGI application is seen here. The databases which we have used basically the database which you are going to use that is SQLite 3 then the authentication password validators why well, I said you the requirements I didn't mention the uh, database uh, so it's by default it's uh, SQLite 3 be rest assured about it then the language code the URLs everything is mentioned there then let's move to the URLs so in the URLs part you can see here we have from we have imported from django.country we have imported admin from django.urls we have imported path and include and from home we have imported views then let's have a look at the URL patterns the URL patterns is mentioned as path then admin.site.urls and path include home.urls now this is the wsgi.python so here we have imported os and from django.code.wsgi we have imported get WSJ application. Then again, the environment variables are set, and again, the application variable is set to get WSJ application. Cool. Now, I hope this is clear. This was the portfolio website. Now, let's move to the home part. In the admin, what we are going to do, we are going to set the models. So, from django.country, we have imported admin. From home.models, we have imported home and contact. Then we have registered the models. First, you import the models, then you need to register the models. Now, let's move to apps.python. In the apps.python, we have uh, from django.apps, we have imported app configuration. Then, uh, the app configuration, the auto field is mentioned as models which, and big auto field. And the name is set as home. Then, in the models.python, first, from django.db, you import the models and you need to create your models. How do you need to create? So in the portfolio, what all models you have? The name, the email, the subject and message. See the syntax, how to create the model is mentioned here. You have to write models, 
dot the field name which you are going to use and the length you need to put the number of characters in that model then this is a function defined in python you define a function like that def the function name and in the parameter you put self now let's move test.python see the simple line from jankode.test import test case so this here you need to create your test cases so you may be a bit worried you may be a bit confused that see here we have used a single line for that we have created a file you may ask me you should, you might have this doubt on your mind that why for a single line you are creating a complete new file because see in this major projects when we are going to do when you are going to have full stack development or you are going to build some really complex some really functional fully functional projects what do you need to do is you need to divide your uh, a complete project into small small components why so because you will not get confused and the person who is working through or going through your project that person will also not get confused you may ask me why so just like think of a hypothetical situation you are working on this portfolio website you worked on it and after 3 4 years i i need to take over so when i took over your project I don't know if you write each and every code, each and every line in a single file, it will be thousands and thousands of lines. So I may not know that what debugging or what error you have in your file, or if someone asks me to debug, I may not know. If someone asks you to debug your code, you will get confused. That's why what we do is we divide it into small components so that it is easy for you to. debug your code understand your code and a user or a third person also a third coder also to understand your code to look at your code and debug your code so i hope i am pretty clear then let's move to urls.python in the urls.python what we have we have done is we have imported admin path and views then here we have the admin changes so the dashboard we have basically we Uh, welcome the to the dashboard welcome to the portal then the url patterns are set okay now let's move to the views.python in the views.python this is a uh, important part we have imported render and http response and we have created our views here how do you create your views you write def home request then uh, you need to render you need to return the re request and uh, the home.html you need to re return it Then the def project request and you and uh, you return the render request and project dot html. Then def contact request. So if request dot method is post, then your name is equal to request dot post of name. How do you render the method? Just have a look. When you have the email, then you need to return the email. When you have the subject, you need to return the subject. When you have the message, you need to return the message. Then the contact is equal to models dot home name is name email is email subject will be uh, will be subjected to the subject message will be subjected to message. Cool. Now let's have a look at the templates. These are the HTML templates. This basically you don't need to write line by line, line by line. Just copy whatever I've written. It will work fine. So HT, when you are working on Django, it's pretty clear that you know the basics of HTML, like the italics, the row, the column, the template. Basically, how do you write it? Because uh, and the uh, in the requirements part, I already mentioned that we have used Bootstrap here, so it's a upgraded version of CSS. So you don't need to write each and every line of uh, the styling part. What do you need to do? You need to just uh, copy the Bootstrap file, just copy the Bootstrap class from the site official site of uh, bootstrap and you need to work on it so no need to write thousands and thousands of lines of just copy paste it's smart work you just need to know the just you just need to know the development part just no need to work on the front end too much if you are going to use react work on react no need to waste your time on html and css everything is available you can just copy paste cool now what we are going to do we are going to run our project and i'll show you How does this look like? Okay. 
let's learn manage dot py run server i have already said to how to run it so let's run okay control click on the url okay see these are the home about resume skills for just contact so the home i moved to the home this is home the name of the person uh, through which i have created is muhammad burhan so see it's about i am a developer with experience in python and uh, so this is basically his profile then the skills are mentioned here chtml 100 css 90 python 80 everything is mentioned here now see if i go to the projects i go to the projects like that if i press on contact i move to the contact so this is the responsiveness okay if i move to the resume i go to the resume part see how has he mentioned his resume professional experience bro. then if i do uh, download the resume thing is downloaded here i have not attached any file here so it says could not download file because there is no file okay so i hope you understood the working of this project for more interesting project ideas stay tuned to our channel thank you Thank you.